What's good, YouTube fam? It's your boy Tony, aka Descended to Chaos and Controversy. And today, today, whoo-wee. If this isn't the icing on the cake, if this isn't the cherry on top. Okay, so, uh, this, I will say, I will say, is the video if not the mother of all videos that would validate a particular person's narrative when it comes to using certain examples to justify why they pander or exploit this type of nonsense okay and like I said, in fairness, if you're going to talk against, you, you may as well also talk for when there's validation. So, in this video, you have two females, okay? Sisters, obviously, because I'll put the link in the description or on, under the comment section to uh, have you see the, the video in its whole entirety. And... At first, looking at it, I thought they were the cops were being called because of a shoplifting or whatever the case may be. But when you listen to what the sister is saying, I guess there was a previous altercation between the sister who was pregnant and another group of females or whatever the case may be. And they just so happened to um, re-engage here at Walmart. Um and uh, a conflict obviously uh, broke out and the cops were called. Now, the cops are here doing a job. They have to neutralize the situation. Um, you got unruly individuals and before things get out of hand, they have to go in and break it up, okay? Well, you got one sister who was first detained, the one over there with the uh, black and gray and striped and then you have another sister who who is the pregnant one with her kids dressed in all white. Now, you're going to see where you're going to see a lot of uh, opinions being thrown at this situation. Um, a lot of emotion. Um, a lot of people jumping to the conclusion, riding on a cliche bandwagon. But I've seen the whole video in its entirety. And this is where I go against the grain with what I normally uh, speak out against, okay? So you got both sisters on the floor. Acting no rudely, that sister kicked everything all around. Then, of course, you got everybody that's surrounding these officers. Now, they're trying to get control of the situation. And you see she's fighting. He's trying to get her up. She's still acting on Ruby. Now here's where the conflict lies. Watch. She tries to bite him. And as an immediate reaction, BAM! Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see it in real time. BOOM! Got one hit a quitter. Now. Oof. A lot of people say, ooh, ooh, cop done uh, hit a black, a white cop hit a black girl, a black woman. That's a no, 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 Okay. Now, here's where I could play the devil advocate and be the antagonist. I could jump on the side that says, ooh, there go the cop, abusing his authority, put his hands on a woman, this, that, and everything else. Um, and uh, 
he should have showed restraint. Okay. Now, I'll say for this argument, I'll say for this argument. I know if I was out somewhere, say if I was out in the club or something like that, and say I got, uh, I engaged with some chick that really just was either drunk, um, had an attitude, um, thought her shit didn't stink or whatever the case may be. And she was just provoking, provoking, provoking. And then she started putting her hands on me, putting her hands on me. Then she hauled off and slapped me in my face and throw a drink in my face and spit in my face and stuff. And then I turned around, bow, knocked it out. Everybody would jump on my ass and be like, oh, you a woman beater? No, no, I'd probably get my ass jumped and then get my ass kicked. That's one way of looking at it, okay? Um, and, and then a lot of people might say, oh, that's the type of cop that at his house, you know, he's probably beating on his wife. He's probably a woman beater. That's probably the reason why he didn't have a, 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 a problem with hitting a female. There was a female already on the scene. How come that female wasn't handling that female? Which is also a valid argument. Because I would have said, hey, there was two male cops and a female cop. A female cop should have been able to handle that other female and stuff like that. Because then if that female decided to, she had to lay that female out, well, what could you say? It was woman on woman. Okay? So that's one way of looking at it. Looking at it from the cop's point of view. Okay? And anybody else for that matter. This is playing the devil's advocate. We all know that whenever we deal with people in the public, or whatever the case may be, we don't know what they got. We don't. We don't know if she succeeded in biting him and breaking through that flesh of his, right? She could have hepatitis. She could have AIDS or, HIV or be HIV positive. You don't know. You already know that if you spit at a cop, that's already an automatic charge. But then you're going to go bite a cop? See, all of this could have been avoided because if you hear what was said earlier, he said, right now you're being detained. He didn't say you was being arrested. He didn't say you was going to jail. He said, you're being detained. Detained means I'm going to walk you away from this situation to where there's nobody else around that where I can have a one-on-one -on -one with you talk with you okay and see what the see see see, see what, what what the problem is and how it can be resolved okay but instead you had these females that wanted to act or show they ass so to speak and then you'll hear it, it when you, when you see the video you're like oh racist 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 the cop didn't even say anything to her to her calling her anything racial suggesting anything that he didn't like black people he didn't say none of that he was just there to neutralize a situation and the ones that were showing their ass could have just been like okay you know what officer I'm not going to give you no trouble just when we get outside hey can I talk to you whatever nine times out of ten that's what people do that's what I do Trust me, I've, I've, I've had many run-ins run with the law, and I've never once gave them a hard time. Have I gotten into uh, a scuffle with the cops? Yeah, because they want to escalate a situation. They want to bodily harm me, and succeeded in doing that, okay? But when they went to go look up my record, I didn't have no priors. I didn't have no troubles with the laws or nothing like that. So, yes, there are cases where, yeah, you got some cops that do cross that fucking line, try to, you know, exercise their authority, you know, m muscle you, intimidate you, you know, even if it goes as far as them physically, like, having to check you in some kind of way, just so they can't intimidate you. They'll go that to those lengths. I know. It happened to me in Willowman in Connecticut. I told that story. But for every other time that I've dealt with the police, we was cordial. Um, I talked to cops and stuff like that. And this is what I tell you, not all cops are bad. Not all cops are bad. Not all cops are bad. But sometimes you got to look at certain situations 
and see who was in the wrong. You know, um, and like and, and like like a lot of times on the person that encounters the cop, it could go a whole different way if they just if they just showed some restraint on their behalf. If, if they just, you know, I hate to say the word comply because that, that, that's one of the words that I, that don't set too well for me because that gets thrown around too often. But if they just acted in an appropriate manner, that's, that's what I'm going to say. They probably would have went out to the car, um, spoke their grievances, and the cop probably would have been like, okay, let me get the other um, party side of the story, do 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 and they were probably been told, okay, well, don't come back to this Walmart no more. And that's it. It probably would have been let go. But now somebody's getting arrested. Now somebody's getting the charge. Because that technically is an assault on an officer. Um, and I, uh, it is what it is. But, um, again, uh, this is one of those situations where I can look at something and be like, Oh, no, your ass was in the wrong. <laughs> I, I, I can't defend you on this one. Woo, maybe if it was a different scenario, a different situation, then maybe I could have had an argument um, to present to go in your favor. But in this one, you brought this on yourself. This is all I got to say about that. I mean, I, I, it's, it's just cut and dry right there. And they slowed it down. I mean, you, you saw it. They slowed it down. And then, of course, you got all the people that's, oh, officer knocked that bitch out. No, 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 no. He put his hands on I'm like, like I said, you can look at it two ways. I already explained the first. And I already pointed out the second. You know? But either way, I mean, hey. Uh, uh, it is what it is. I don't know what to tell you. But, uh. Until next time, until next video, you already know how it go. Please like, share, and subscribe, and let me know your thoughts on this. You know, come on out. I welcome it.